Hey, what's going on? Oscar Zapata. November 5th, 11 o'clock. Yeah. I went to bed at about like 4 o'clock. I set the alarm at 5.30 or 6. Did not happen. And I knew it was not going to happen. But that's okay. This is confirming my knowingness about my body. You know, because I remember I mentioned last night, you know, I was like, dude, I know myself, man. I know myself. If I go to bed at like two, three, four o'clock in the morning and, and try to wake up early in the morning because I got to be somewhere, you know, and trying to go to bed with only about like an hour and a half or maybe two hours at the most of, of good sleep, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen and, and, and this is a confirmation that it did not happen. So this is confirmation if I know that I have to be up in the morning, I know that I will and must go to bed, go to sleep at nine or 10 o'clock at night. So I'm, it's, it's, it's learning, man. It's, it's knowing yourself to the T. So, luckily, it was not a mandatory um, appointment that I had at the VA today. It was not mandatory, and so what I'm thinking is, is you know, since I wasn't able to make it for the first class, I'm thinking about just... You know, a taking, you know, taking uh, the next, the next class over again. So, and it and it goes like every month, or not every month, or maybe like every two months, that they offer this class about about the psychology of weight management your behaviors of why you do what you do so um because i want to experience everything i you know it's like i already missed a class and now i missed two classes and the classes it's only every two weeks. So, you know, so I was like, ah, you know what? That's okay. That's all right. Now you know. Now you know for absolutely certain that, that you must get your rest. That I must get my rest. Knowing that I have to wake up in the morning. And, and sure enough. I remember it as if it was a daggone dream. The cell phone alarm went off. I grabbed it. You know, and I pressed uh, the side button to silence it. And I went back to sleep. Just like, bam, bam, ha, ha. So, that's okay. That's all right. It's not the end of the world. This is just confirmation that I knew myself. And, and yes, you know, it's like I did wanted to, uh, to say some words 
last night and oh dude man uh, something's well I get very very low limited internet at my place so and and something's going on something is going on behind the scenes you know and if you if you if you are into this that's great if not that's great too that's okay all i know is that we as a human species here on this planet earth cannot be so arrogant that we are the only intelligent forms of life in the whole universe we cannot be so arrogant my man you know we we cannot and 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 my uh and the internet on Facebook it was just blown out about UFOs about our star brothers and sisters are are going to make contact which they have done in the past with the Phoenix lights if you have not seen that docu movie I don't know if it's on YouTube or not but I I checked it out at the library you could uh, check it out at the library Phoenix lights where a five mile um, UFO was going like five miles per hour all right above Phoenix and thousands of people saw it thousands of people the mayor all of the police all all everybody saw that so you know I know that we are not the only ones here on planet earth that has somewhat of an intelligent life <laughs> you know it was like I think I think no I don't think I know that the intelligent ones has an open mind but not just but not just having an open mind but to not to be so you know arrogant that we are the only intelligent forms of life on this planet earth that's all I gotta say and and I don't know if it's in a relation to to what uh, well um, to Stan Romanex movie that came out on the 3rd of November two days ago on Sunday so maybe maybe there's the uh, there's a, a correlation of having that movie came out and also all this hoopla about having all these UFOs, you know, and our uh, space brothers and sisters. I like to call them our star brothers and sisters. You know, so because I know that that docu movie of that just came out definitely, definitely has has some very, very interesting, very incredible, very amazing uh, footage. And, you know, yeah, so, so I don't know if it has a correlation with the movie or not. All I know 
is that now is the time to transform your life. Now is the time to do what you've always wanted to do. Can't you feel it? There's like a, like an aura that's upon us right now. And I mentioned it last night during one of my videos, is like, I feel as if a switch has been turned on. That the DNA structure has been transformed like the junk or the so-called junk DNA, which we all know that it's not just junk. There's other aspects to our human life. There's other more more powers, more energy that we do not understand, that we have access to. And, and that's why we call it junk, because we don't know what it's used for. But I know that there's a lot, it's happening. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. So I'm excited, I'm ready, and, and let's do this, let's do this. So today, so today I'm gonna to be going to the college and to register my classes today. So I'm going to uh, figure out my schedule. I'm going to pick out all the classes that, that I want to take and need to take. And then after that, I'm going to upload these videos. <laughs> so, and after this, and after this video, I, I know that I will not be uploading as often as I was with my videos. So just to give you a heads up, that I'll be, I'll be a metamorphosizing my whole entire being. And, and if you'd like, you could do it too, because we're all in this together. We are all on this life journey on this planet Earth together. We're in this Milky Way galaxy together. We're all in this solar system together. Just our neighborhood. within trillions of other galaxies, trillions of other planets and stars. You know, it was like one of the, one of the posts I, I saw was from a USA Today. Somebody reposted it. And, you know, it was like, and since I don't, read the news, I don't go on the news websites, you know, and it was from a USA Today, and, and it said that there, that NASA found like a handful of similar planets like, like ours which means there's life on those planets, which means they have most likely have more highly intelligent life forms similar to us humans here on this earth. And, you know, it's like, and there's other postings, you know, they're saying that that contact is going to be made. They're going to let their presence be known worldwide. Worldwide. So, 
you know, whether or not it's true, I have not really searched the internet or, or the news, and I'm not planning on doing that, you know? And so because I know, I know the truth, I know my truth, and I know my reality, and, and, and yes, we do live in a very incredible, amazing, supernatural, magical, wondrous, miraculous universe. We do. We do. So let the transformation begin. Let it start now. Let our actions speak. Enough with our words. And yes, this will be testament for myself because I know that I've been talking a whole lot of miscellaneous on these videos. <laughs> so I, I could definitely relate of what Kai Green was saying last night. You know, enough of the words. Enough of, yes, I'm going to be doing this. Yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to change. But enough, enough with the words. Enough. Let our actions speak now. Let our actions speak now. All right. I got about like three minutes. And so, and that is what I want to share with you is to let our actions speak now. Let our actions speak now. Enough, enough of the talk. Enough of the, yes, I'm going to change. Yes, tomorrow's the day. Yes, I'm going to do this and that and this. Starting, I'm going to wake up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to run to the gym. Enough. E fucking enough. Because I know I've been I've been saying that for for quite some time. And and I heard what I needed to hear last night. Enough of the fucking words. Let your actions speak. And that's all you got to do. That's all of what I got to do. And that's what will happen. That is what's going to happen. So, infinite love and gratitude. We live in such an amazing, wondrous, magical, out of this world, out of this universe life. We are, we are a galactic federation. Because we are here now on this planet. I'm speaking to you now. I am speaking to you now. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh gosh. You know, it's like I, I truly feel and know that we are so caught up with our jobs, with our families, our friends, the football, the baseball, all, all what's happening on the news that we don't really think about how did we get here? How did, how did this planet Earth happen? How, not only did it happen, but to have these amazing life forms on this planet. For example, the dinosaurs. Now that, my friend, that, that just blows my mind way out of the water. And this happened millions of years ago. These huge, bodacious, ferocious, powerful Dinosaurs, T-Rex, Brontosaurus Rex. I don't know how many shit, dude. I think it weighs about like 50 tons or something. 
that's about like 500 feet high. Can you believe that shit right there? Dude, you know, and so it just blows my mind away on how how an amazing universe and planet that we're living in right now. So time is out. Much love, Oscar Z signing out. November 5th, 2013. Let's do it. Let's have our actions speak. Now. Much love, Oscar Zapata signing out. Peace. Yes, now. Now. Actions speak now.